And we're back. Uh, later the same day, we've got what's starting to look a bit like a printer. Um, how's it been going, Tracy? Uh, <laughs> it's all fun, but oh, fiddly. My goodness. I don't want to do steps ahead of time because I've made mistakes already by doing that. So I'm just yes. one slow, steady step at a time. Follow the instructions and uh, hopefully don't skip ahead. Uh, you might be surprised and have to backtrack and undo stuff that you thought you'd done properly and hadn't. Um, but yeah, so far it's actually been, um, other than everything being really small and tight spaces to get into, I, th I think, you know, following the instructions has been good, but there's a few places uh, where, if I'm being honest, the manual could use a bit of clarification on, you know, which way parts rotate, particularly things like motors with the wires sticking out. We're not sure which orientation the wires should be, if they should be facing inwards or backwards or forwards. Um, so little things like that. And in some cases... This kit comes with really tiny nuts, and so when you preload them, they fall out. So don't preload them. The square nuts, yeah. Yeah. Um, Depending on right depending on you know what kit you get or whether you self source your parts, you might have different nuts. But uh, the LDO kit came with these square M3 nuts, which uh, are easy to snap in, but also easy to just slide out again. So um, as we move the frame around, it's been a bit problematic. But so far so good, and we're still enjoying the process. So that's uh, all I could hope for, I guess. And hopefully, in a few days, we'll have a you know functional printer. That's it for now. Have a good evening.